Here's my Rainbird P5 PJC. Uh, they got this brand new off of eBay. It came with that. They had that card and everything. I think this is the first time it's ever been used. At some point, I do plan on getting some 15111 internal and making this a 1510C. I'll just have to change out the pin, remove the deflector and the knob there. And I'll have a 15101C or 15105C. I know I can get a full complete 15111 internals and head, not just take the pin out or actually swap it. Spanker seems to run really well, actually. I've had a couple of these when I was younger. I had the ones with that bright green uh, color and the ones with the dull green, like olive green, the older style. And I even had one with the metal trip collar and uh, diffuser pin, and then the one with the brass spoon arm. I have one of those now, but it's much, much older than this. They don't make these anymore, I'll tell you that. The only thing I've ever seen Rainbird make for Hosan is the 25PJ DSC, the newer version of the brass impact that everybody knows of. They don't make any like this anymore. That PJ arm seems to do a really good job of keeping that splash in way with the stream. You know, like most cheap impacts you see nowadays will end up putting off to the side at an angle. Like even the Zach, this, the zinc impacts that you see now do that. This one does a really good job keeping it straight. Rainbow makes a newer version of this. It's pretty much the same color except the head is like a maxi paw. And it has that green deflector and knob on it. I guess, yeah, that's what you can pretty much buy now. Although, I like this better. I don't like the anything that have to do with maxi paws. Not a fan of them. Even though I have one that's only been used once. I really don't like the maxi paws much. They're too cheap. I like the older style impacts like this or the brass. The brass are really my favorite. That's what I remember messing with when I was a kid. Yeah, at some point when I get this um, in installed into the uh, 15111 case and everything, I'll make a video of it when it's done. So you'll get to see uh, 15105C, which is very, very rare. I've never seen one myself. I have seen one head that had the pin on top of it that was out of one, but I've never seen one inside. Only on the group that I'm in, someone posted a picture of one they had. But I have a couple other Blackbirds like this, but this is the one that's in the best shape since it's new. I didn't pay very much for it, I think like 25 something dollars for it. It really wasn't that much. It's a good sprinkler to sit up in the middle of the yard and, let, and just let it go full force, you know, full circle and with no distance adjustment and look at pretty much everything. Well, thanks for watching.